Hi, welcome back to my channel. This episode is entitled, God is Preparing His People. Yesterday, as I spent time with the Lord, I was led to read from Isaiah chapter 28. This is for God's people. Let me start with this word from the Lord. It is written, for he says, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, rule upon rule, rule upon rule. Here a little, there a little. And that's Isaiah chapter 28, verse 10 of the Amplified Version. I have said before that we should not despise small beginnings and the Holy Spirit is confirming how to know that your purpose is anointed by him. As the Spirit was giving me this word, he said to me that I am taking you by the way of David and Joseph. Part of this revelation came because I needed to have my car serviced and I did not know how much it would cost. I knew that it was best to go to the dealership, but as everyone knows, this is the most expensive option. As I was researching the different avenues that I could take, I read an article that stated that mechanics receive specialized training. As the spirit was pouring into me, he confirmed that while David's brothers had received training from men and were out fighting wars and working under the king, David received unique, individually specialized training from God. This is why it is written, and when he had removed him, meaning Saul, he raised up David to be their king. Of him he testified and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, conforming to my will and purposes, who will do all my will. And that's Acts chapter 13, verses 22 of the Amplified Version. This same training was given to Joseph. Both were in the lowest of places. Nobody noticed or cared. It seemed that the tasks that they were given were demeaning, at least to others. I think of the movies The Karate Kid and Kill Bill. Both students were humbled before they could begin to receive instruction. Listen to this confirming word. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. And that's Luke chapter 16, verse 10 of the Amplified Version. Remember this scripture also. Who with reason despises the day of small beginnings. For these seven eyes shall rejoice when they see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel. They are the eyes of the Lord which roam throughout the earth. And that's Zechariah chapter 4 verse 10 of the Amplified Version. The Lord himself is cherishing this time with you as a parent cherishes the growth of their child. The Spirit reminded me of when I was allowed to experience that unimaginable peace and joy. He knew that I would forfeit this gift. I did not have the understanding to nurture and cultivate it with all filled reverence and respect. As I walk with him, it is gradually manifesting in my life being evidenced much more lately. It is written, do not be anxious or worried about anything, but in everything, every circumstance and situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, 
Continue to make your specific requests known to God and the peace of God, that peace which reassures the heart, that peace which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus is yours. And that's Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7 of the Amplified Version. A second realization that the Spirit has given me and how you know that you are praying in the Spirit, although I do have the gift of tongues, not having it does not make your prayers ineffective. But you will know because the thing that you are asking will come to pass. It is of God and he is leading you. Now, if you say that you are specific, but are not seeing results, this is answered bluntly in his word. You are jealous and covet what others have and your lusts go unfulfilled. So you murder. You are envious and cannot obtain the object of your envy. So you fight and battle. You do not have because you do not ask it of God. You ask God for something and do not receive it because you ask with wrong motives, out of selfishness or with an unrighteous agenda, so that when you get what you want, you may spend it on your hedonistic desires. And that's James chapter 4, verses 2 through 3 of the Amplified Version. I was compelled to add for the ignorant person or persons who would ask, why are you not asking for riches and worldly possessions? I am very specific with my prayers and supplications. And when they are answered, I know that it is because it was not of me, but of his spirit that dwells in me. As I seek intimacy and contentment, I am reminded of these things as they are manifesting in my everyday walk with Jesus. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, set aside self-righteous pride so that he may exalt you to a place of honor in his service at the appropriate time, casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, and all your concerns once and for all on him. For he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 through 7 of the Amplified Version. And last but not least, it is written, but first and most importantly, seek, aim at, strive after his kingdom and his righteousness, his way of doing and being right the attitude and character of God, and all these things will be given to you also. The Amplified Version. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. The King James Version of Matthew 6, chapter I'm sorry, verses 33 and 34. I am specific and obedient, which means I do my part in prayer and I trust God to do what is impossible for me to do with supernatural favor. My car is almost six years old and is running and looks, apart from a couple of scratches and a small dent, better than the day I got it. God spoke in my spirit that I could get a new, oh, sorry, a newer vehicle a while ago, but I trust him and would rather alleviate other areas in my finances at this time. Internalize that. There truly is a season for everything. 
Discipline is a skill. Always coming from a place of love. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.